All right, traders, it is official. My price target for AMC is going to be $100 this week. I think the stock is about to explode, and now is the time to buy the dips. I'm planning on buying the dips early in the morning. Time frame is going to be around 9.45 to 10.30 a.m. Within this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my technical analysis on why I strongly believe AMC stock is going to explode this week and reach that price target of $100, guys. So let's get right into it. First things first, we are on Google Trends here, and AMC is the number one search trend, right? within the past 24 hours. Absolutely insane, guys. And if we look at the news here, we have AMC selling 8.5 million shares at an air 4% premium to Mudger Capital, and the stock is currently surging, guys. In pre-market, let me check my phone here. We're currently at $30.50. Stock is currently up 17% in the pre-market. So I'm planning to buy all the dips within the morning. Going to be looking for small pullbacks at around $27 to $29 in between that area. And I'm planning to buy far out of the money call options that are going to be expiring on June 3rd. Going to be taking a slight risk on this one because I believe it's going to go well above the expected move, guys. This thing is really going to explode in my opinion. So let's kind of get into why. So if we compare GME to AMC, just study this chart. This pattern, this history is currently repeating itself and AMC is the new GME. You guys remember GameStop where it went from $4 all the way to $513, something like that in the pre-market? Well, AMC is going to be the new GME. It's doing the same exact pattern and let me share with you that pattern. Check this out. Each one of these candlesticks represents one day's worth of price action. You see how the stock is kind of consolidating right here, not doing much. Then you have this massive push up, right? So right here, AMC. Stock is consolidating, not doing much. Massive push up. Pay attention to how these candlesticks look. They're identical. Pay attention to how these volume bars look. They're identical, right? These charts that I'm showing you side by side are identical. And what I'm showing you is history is literally repeating itself to a T in terms of these percentage gains in chart pattern, etc. right? So we have consolidation, massive push up, and then just consolidation, small pullbacks, massive push up consolidation small pullbacks massive push up now let's take a look at this short term chart right here what i want to show you is these two candlesticks right here let's go over this on amc notice how we have this massive green candle and then it loses some gains into the close massive green candle then it loses some gains into the close next day massive gap up it closes weak Massive gap up, stock closes weak towards lows, right? GME, AMC doing the same thing. Now, here's what I want to show you, right? This is where we were on Friday with uh, AMC. And if you go back to, you know, GameStop um, on January 25th, 2021, you can see same pattern. This is where we're at. Now, look what happens to GameStop, you know, GameStop on the next day. Next day, massive gap up. Now, here we are the next day on AMC, same pattern, massive gap up already, right? And then look what happens the day after that. Massive gap up. Stock literally goes from $80 to $380 a share. Day after that, it hits $500 plus in the pre-market. So that is the pattern, guys. Right here, this is where we were on Friday in terms of this pattern. We were right here on Friday. We were right here with the week close right here. This is where we were. Now, here's where we are. We're right here. So what I'm telling you is if this short-term pattern repeats itself, which it currently is, guys, because pay attention to the volume. Look at the volume on a GME, 200 million. Look at the volume on AMC, 700 million. Next day, it, it almost reaches for new highs on the volume. Same thing with uh, you know GameStop, almost reaches for new highs on the volume. And today we're going to see massive volume, a massive push-up. I strongly believe history is going to repeat itself. It is going to close strong towards the highs. It's going to have a massive run. And what I want to show you is, this is what, in terms of if history repeats itself, this is what is currently happening. This is what's most likely is going to happen, and in my opinion. The tension is there, and the short squeeze has really started to begun. So let's kind of go over this. We're going to go back to this day on a, you know, GameStop right here on, on January 26th. Let's go back to this real quick. January 26th. And I'm going to show you what it did in After Hours. This is what I think is going to happen to uh, AMC, guys. I'm telling you, AMC is the new GameStop, but it's even better. You know, the fundamentals are better, so it's in a lot better situation currently. Um, let's get right into this. Okay, here we are. 
So to have the gap up, right? And then check this out. Nice run from 90 to 160. And then after hours went all the way to 245. Pre-market went to 360. And then literally the day after that, it went to around $500, I believe. Let's see, $513. So yeah, guys, that's where I currently stand on AMC. I am fully convinced that it is not too late to buy. But I do believe if you don't buy today, you're going to miss out on a very lucrative opportunity. In terms of buying the dip, like I think this is the last day to be buying the dip before this really takes off to, you know, that $700 plus range. Um, and if you look at the risk, it's a very low risk, low risk trade. Because if we just study this chart here, guys, let me just show you how low of a risk this is. Very low risk trade and high reward. The expected move is there. This is expected. This is going to have a most likely huge push you know, sixty hundred dollar range easily this week. Um, I could see the stock tripling without a problem. But if we look at the technical analysis, guys, the risk is very, very low in my opinion. So if our price target is going to be between, let's say, seventy hundred dollars, um, and this is short term, you know, long term, this can go much higher. But I think this week is going to be the week, and I think now is the time to get in. But if we look at our risk, your risk can literally be. We'll do a five day chart analysis. Your risk could be twenty four dollars. You know, get in towards the dips. See if you can get in towards like $28, right around there. Your risk could be around low 24s, um, $23 range. And the price target could be to as high as $100. So very low risk, high reward trade with huge upside potential and very little downside potential at the current prices, current price section in my eyes. So yeah, I'm just taking it one day at a time. But today is the day I'm going to be buying this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. If you did, make sure you smash the like button and I'll keep you updated on my position. Like I said, planning to buy early in the morning, all the dips.